So all of these, I don't have them yet. And many of them, it's my first time taking care of this specific genus. Good day everyone! Welcome to Cactus Caffeine. My name is Anna. So my coffee for today is in this beautiful California mug because I am going to show you my plant haul from my recent trip from California. This mug by the way was given to me by Cecilia, one of my friends that I met through YouTube. She's from California. <laughs> so thank you Cecilia. So like I've said, I have a plant haul for today. If you haven't seen my last video, I went to my very first Cactus and Succulent show in Los Angeles, California. It was hosted by the San Gabriel Valley Cactus and Succulent Society. So they had it at the LA Arboretum. It was an amazing experience, guys. It was my very first and it was a fantastic mental and... Um, visual experience as well so i was able to talk to you know people who are really into the hobby they have so much experience i learned a lot from them especially you know displaying your plants or how to present them in a um, beautiful and presentable way and i also saw specimens very old specimens uh, a lot of rare specimens that i've only seen in pictures i actually saw it there anyway so let's start off with this very first plant that i got so i got nine cactus in total i could have gotten a lot more but you know i was on a budget <laughs> so anyway these are the nine cacti that came home with me so let's let me start off with this uh, coripantha scolimoides that is the name so I only have one Coripantha in my collection and it is still a seedling so it'll be years before it flowers so I got myself one that is now um, big enough hopefully to flower so this Coripantha I did some research about it because I don't have a lot of um, experience growing this but it does say it grows in arid conditions which is what I have in here so hopefully this will grow well for me and it will also produce yellow flowers okay the second cactus that i got is a matucana so that is the name of it so i have one matucana that was given to me by daz of cacti mania but they're still small they're i think they're pups so they're still small so i got one that is bigger and hopefully big enough now and mature enough to flower this matucana will produce i think like bright orange red flowers so some matucanas don't have spines they're completely spineless but this one has uh, long spines the third cactus that i have and this is a gift from my husband because it is a little bit pricey <laughs> this is an Aerocarpus hybrid so it has it says here it is a cross between an Aerocarpus retusa and an agavoides okay so this one is grafted i've all i have only one Aerocarpus in my collection and it's still a seedling it was given to me by brian of sass cactus so i've been wanting one that is already big because area carpus grows very very slow so i've been wanting one that's already big and blooming size but then the bigger it gets you know the pricier it is too so finally i found one that is um, a medium-sized area carpus and this one is grafted so this should grow faster than if it is growing in its own roots also um, i like the way that this is crafted it is crafted on a columnar cactus i'm not exactly sure what kind but i like how low it was crafted so if this grows bigger you would not you can hardly see the rootstock in the future when this grows bigger so i like that style of grafting um i think in the future i will do this instead of you know having a tall um, root stock 
and it looks like a lollipop <laughs> i think i prefer this because you know in time you would hardly see the rootstock and it would look as if it's growing in its own roots so again this is an areocarpus hopefully this will flower for me soon and the fact that it is grafted hopefully it is easier to take care of this one number four okay cactus number four this is a disco cactus or disco cactus i don't know how to say it anyway i've seen this cactus in uh, the instagram post of rob roy his instagram handle is rob roy's plants so i visited him a few years ago if you haven't seen that video i will put the link up in here and i highly recommend that you see that video because um rob roy is one of um, a famous grower here in the u.s of cactus anyway i saw his uh, post in instagram and his disco cactus is mature it has a cephalium already so i didn't know that this grows a cephalium like a mellow cactus anyway his a has a cephalium and it is in flower it has beautiful white flowers and it is also fragrant the flowers of this type of cactus are fragrant so i don't have this yet this is my very first so when i saw this during the sale i grabbed it immediately i don't care what kind of disco cactus this is so this is my very first i don't know how long it will take before this will flower because it has i think it has to form the cephalium first before it will flower but anyway i'm so happy to finally find one i've never seen this being sold in the big box stores here in the u.s and then number what number am i in five <laughs> number five is this beautiful thello cactus okay that is the name and look it is in bud so i got this one because particularly it's in bud I was hoping you know and i am still hoping that the flowers won't drop because of the change of environment but so far so good the flower buds are still there the color can be variable on the flowers so i'm not sure if i'm going to get a white or a pale pink in color so we will find out soon <laughs> and then um the next cactus that i have here this has been on my wish list for years it is an Ubelmania pectinifera. Okay, so this has been in my wish list for years. And I finally found one. So this one, I like this particular cactus because of the color. It has a purple body and the aerials are white. And the spines are black or dark brown. So I like the contrast of that, especially when this grows much much bigger the contrast of the colors will be more visible so i am very fortunate to finally find one i know and i've heard that this cactus can be a little bit temperamental <laughs> so it is tricky to grow this cactus but hopefully you know this will last with me for a very very long time I'm not growing this for the flowers. The flowers are rather small. I think they are yellow in color. But I like this more because of the form and the look of the cactus itself. The next cactus that I have here is an Islaya Islayensis. <laughs> so when I saw this, I thought this is a, a new genus that I don't have yet. But when I googled it, I found out it's actually also an eriosis so it's another name of uh, the genus so this one has a woolly top as you can see and when i got this one unfortunately i did not catch it right away but i did find a few mealybugs that was stuck on the woolly um structure here on top so i did not see them because they were blending with a woolly top but when I got home, I found some um, some mealy bugs, so I treated it, and that is why there is, as you can see, some damage. The orange brown there on top; those are the mealy bug damage. But it's not a lot. I treated it, and I've 
I don't see any more mealy bugs on this one. So hopefully, you know, the mary stem, the apical mary stem on top or the growing point is still good and it will continue to grow. But uh, fingers crossed, uh, fingers crossed that this will be okay. And then number eight, cactus. This is another one that um, I've been looking for. <laughs> this one is a Sulco Rebusha. That is the name. It's such a long name. <laughs> anyway, I love this clump, this purple clump of cactus. I am not quite sure if this is grafted because this is usually sold as grafted. I can't see but when I repot this then I will let you know guys if it is grafted or not but look at that beautiful clump so this will produce magenta flowers okay but with or without the flowers isn't that so striking I mean the purple body and the black spines very very beautiful the last cactus that I will show you guys is this one. So this is a genus that I don't have yet. This is a Puna. If you've seen my video on my trip to that uh, show, I was able to interview the vendor Desert Creations. So Dan from Desert Creations talked a little bit about this type of cactus. So this one taxonomy is a little bit confused with this one some say it belongs to opuntias as well some say it also is a tephrocactus it does look like a tephrocactus to me and uh, some say it's puna and some say it belongs to another genus that i cannot pronounce anyway this um, produces very big flowers flowers that are bigger than the segments however to produce good flowers this needs a good winter rest this is cold hardy so it needs a proper winter rest um, to produce good flowers so we will see i don't know if this is mature enough to flower but we will find out so some flowers of this are white some are like yellowish and some can be like pink or bright pink flowers so we will see what flower i will get from this one and by the way if you're wondering about the prices someone asked me from my last video how the prices are if they are more expensive because it is a show and my answer is i think for me the prices are reasonable considering the size of the cactus as you can see they are not tiny ones <laughs> they some of them are quite big it's like this one it's a big clump and considering the rarity if you can call it rare you know these are not readily available at least what i got um the prices are reasonable and look they're all properly you know very nicely planted in a good plastic pot with proper top top dressing so you can probably if you want if you wish you can leave them in this pot you don't need to repot them so for me the prices are reasonable so the cheapest is eight dollars okay i'll go over them one by one the islaya is eight dollars Coripantha is ten dollars matukana is fifteen dollars this sulco is uh, forty five dollars so the most expensive ones that i got is this sulco and this area carpus this is also forty five dollars this Puna is 18 US dollars. This Cocactus or is $12. This Ubelmania is $20. And uh, the Thelo Cactus is $12. But you know, you can easily shop around there. So if you're not satisfied with the price, you can just go, you know, to the next vendor. Like this one. Um, this is not the first one that I grabbed. The first one that I got was half the size of this one, but it was being sold for the same price. So when I found this, you know, I just returned the other one and got this one instead. Same as, say, for example, this Soko Rebusha. There were several vendors who were selling this one, but I got the one with the biggest clump. So although the prices were the same, or some were cheaper but you know there's only a few heads so i got the one with the biggest clump for the same price so you can easily shop around there competition is very friendly <laughs> so for me the prices are reasonable 
all right so that is it for my plant haul video if you like my haul in this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants oh and by the way if you're asking me yes i will repot these guys because i like to use terracotta pot so i will be repotting these guys soon so anyway i will talk to you again next time guys bye everyone and cheers